Hey guys, what's up? JWisp here and welcome to episode 11 of the Minecraft 1.16 survival let's play. I'm super stoked to be doing another episode and I also have a few updates for you guys before we get started. So in the last episode, we made a really cool creeper farm and got some cats. I also got some more cats. I got all the ones I could find around my village. I got two more. This one I want to name Lucy after my real life cat who looks pretty similar, but I'm gonna need a name for this cat. So if you guys have any name suggestions, let me know down in the comments below and I'll probably just do the one with the most, uh, either whatever comment gets commented a lot or the comment with the most likes. So if you have name suggestions, let me know. Also, I spent a lot of time mining some iron and I used all of the iron in my chests, which was actually a few stacks, and I made a ton of iron golems. I started a small little pumpkin farm in this direction, just with a few pumpkins. I did have a few more, but looks like I have some more growing. And I literally just created a ton of iron golems, and hopefully this will protect my village enough until I get a wall around my village, which I'm not even sure I want a wall around my village. I, I did want one at first, um, just to prevent mobs from getting in, but honestly, the way this is all shaped with these weird hills, and then there's a ravine, and there's water everywhere, it might be too hard to make a wall. So I think I'm just gonna use a lot of iron golems, and oh my god, what is that? Oh my gosh, that was scary. But I have tons of beds, I have a huge farm with lots of composters, and so I'm hoping that'll act, this whole area will act as a villager breeder. And also, I do have this villager breeder over here, which what I did is I just took the doors off so villagers can come in and out as they please. And then I also put an iron golem in there to protect the villagers so that this villager breeder is still working. And say some of the villagers come out of here, make life in the town, and then die, well, then their bed is now empty. So they will just make more villagers to replace the villagers that were there originally. So I think... We definitely got this going. It's nice having a lot of life around the village. There's literally tons of villagers. Uh, a lot of villagers from here came out, and then I also gave some of the villagers out here some bread, and they started breeding, so it's definitely looking nice. A lot more lively farm is going to use. There's villagers actually sitting in the stands. Here we have the fishermen, and then here we have the little butcher, butcher guy, and I really like that they stay close to their respected items that give them jobs because it's it's really nice just for the town to actually see them, you know, sitting in their little market shacks looking like they're actually selling stuff to the people. Of course, we also have the church. We have our librarian here who unfortunately still does not give mending. However, I do already have a decent amount of mending from chests in the end cities. So yeah, we're making lots of good progress, but something I want to do to start off this episode is finally get rid of this ugly enchantment table. Well, I don't really want to get rid of it. What I want to do is I extended this platform a little bit, so I want to make some sort of mage tower slash enchantment tower around this. I'll probably honestly just leave this enchantment table right here as is and then build a tower around it. So I think that I can end up making it look pretty cool. I'll use some logs, use some stone brick. So I'm going to gather all the materials I think I'll need and I'll be right back with you all. All right, so I just grabbed some general items like a bunch of stone brick that I had lying around and then the rest of my spruce logs because I think spruce will look better for this. It'll make it a little bit more darker than just using oak wood. I might go back through the build when I'm done and put some different types of wood and maybe different types of stone or cobblestone around just to give it some detail. But for now, I'm just gonna use these base blocks. So what I'm gonna do is just build a little simple platform around here to get a general shape of what I want this to look like. All right, so this is the general shape I'm gonna do. It's five blocks on each side with just one block in the middle. So we have one, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, three, four, five, one. So that's gonna be the general shape of this I think it'll give it a nice uh, rounded off so now what I'm gonna do is just build this up I'm gonna have multiple different floors but the only floor that's gonna be functional is this one the rest is just gonna be decorative I don't really want to make this a giant tower that I'm actually gonna use it's more so just to look nice and be kind of a build in the distance So now that I have this, I'm just going to take my slabs and just cover this entire floor because after I do this, I think I'm probably going to have two or three floors, maybe four if I want to make this super tall. I don't think I want to make it that tall. I think I want this to be a little bit of a smaller build. I feel like if it's super tall, it won't fit in with a lot of the other builds in the village. And I want it to still fit in, especially since, you know, I am using spruce wood, so I have to be careful 
Um, but I think it's nice to use spruce wood every once in a while, even though the majority of things in this village are out of oak wood. Um, but it's still nice to have some spruce stuff like that fishing hut's made out of spruce, just because I wanted to give it a little bit of a darker look, make it look a little more aged and worn. And also, we do have the church over there, which is also made out of spruce wood. But anyways, we have this, and then I think what I'm going to do for the door is just a simple spruce door. Let's turn these all into planks. We can take this. I'll probably put some block for the floor. Maybe we can use spruce wood for the floor as well. I think it'll fit well. But stone brick and spruce is honestly just the ultimate build combination. I used it a lot during my 1.15 survival let's play. Uh, and the only reason for that was because I started using it a lot towards the end of my 1.14 survival let's play. And I feel like using spruce and any type of stone honestly, not just stone brick, is almost like a build hack because almost anything I build out of it, even if the build isn't that good, it still always ends up looking amazing. Just somehow, I'm not sure how it always seems to work out so good. But there we have it. We have the first floor. Now, this doesn't look great yet, so what I'm gonna do is let's make some walls. I could use a stone cutter, and I think if I put walls in the corner, that'll look really nice. But instead of stone brick wall let's grab some cobblestone and use that instead all right i grabbed some cobblestone i also grabbed some nether brick i'm gonna mess around with this for a second i'm, cu I'm curious just because i had some from when i went to the nether when i was uh mining out to my blaze farm i'm curious would this look nice if i used this or would it look too out of place um hmm it might look good actually i don't know i'm gonna i don't know i'm gonna stick with cobblestone for now i'll mess around with the nether brick a little bit later i don't want to mess around with it too much now just in case i end up not liking it but i think if i replace walls with cobblestone there we go that'll look really nice this will help give it a sort of rounded off look i might go back and replace it with the nether brick sometime in the future i don't know i just wanted to see how it would look but the nether brick might be a little too dark i'm not sure it'll fit this build that much so now we have the first floor done we're making good progress i honestly don't have this build planned out at all i'm kind of just going on a whim here i have no idea what this is going to look like um but i think what i want to do now is do a layer where i go up with spruce logs so i'm wondering if i go up <clears throat> like right here on this corner and then eventually let's grab a little bit more spruce logs what I can do is continue with the cobblestone wall, but do the cobblestone wall a block out from where it was before, something like that. I know it might look weird that this build gets wider as it goes up, but I think it'll look good. I've built a similar mage tower design. What I'm kind of basing this off of is one I built with my friends in an SMP world. So I'm gonna build this up a bit and eventually, I don't know, hopefully it'll turn out pretty cool. Alright, so I've built up the second floor like this and I left these little notches because I'm going to use these um, to make windows. I actually, now that I think about it, I originally was going to make this entire tower just decorative, but I think I might make it kind of functional as well. And what I mean by that when I say functional, I say that a lot, just means like it actually has a function. It has purpose. It's not just there to look pretty. The build actually means something and is used for purposes in game. So let's grab this. Let's go take a quick sleep really fast because it's nighttime. All the villagers are scurrying to their houses. We can also get to ours really fast. Why is there a baby villager? Get, get no. You're not allowed in here. I mean, at least the villagers are breeding. That's pretty cool. Get out of my bed. I want to use my bed. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why he's trying to use my bed, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. Shulker boxes. I'm glad we have those. But again, it doesn't look super amazing right now, but I'm going to do a little bit of detailing work, adding some slabs and some, what's it called? Walls. And we'll see how it looks. 
All right, so I've done a bit of detailing work. I added the cobblestone walls and to make it look a little bit better while shooting out as it goes up, I added some stairs and some slabs to add just a little bit of an overhang. It doesn't look perfect just yet, but I think it'll look a lot better once I do a third floor and also add some more detailing. So what I'm gonna do is add the third floor really quickly and then we'll see how it looks. Ooh, another wandering trader. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. No. I didn't want to hit my dog. Okay, you know what? Let's just let my dog take care of them. Come on, dog. Let's mess him up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't like killing these guys. I honestly, I just want the leads. It's not just that I want them. I need them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just came over here to sleep and I saw that wandering villager. Uh, but we're making pretty good progress so far. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I started building a roof on this thing, but I think I'm going to want a, sec a third floor. I didn't... I don't know. I was going to build the third floor. I just started putting a roof on. I'm going to see after I put a roof on how it looks and see if I want to add another floor or not. All right. So we've made a lot of good progress. I also, oh, I hear a villager. Where is it? I don't know. I saw him. There was a wandering villager or a, uh, yeah, well, there, I see the particles now. It's over here. There was a trader in my house. He's drinking invisibility potions, but oh, there he is. All right. Let's take him out. I'm sorry, bro. You've got to go. I killed your llamas gotta kill you too all right there we go but here we go so i definitely did a, a decent amount of work i was doing some time lapses with the build but i was spending too much time just going around fixing little details here and there and so i didn't want to do a time lapse of it but here's what i came up with i'm deciding that i'm not going to put a third floor because i don't know it looks a little bit stubby for lack of a better term but i think i like it and what i decided to do is I had some wool and I also had some sheep so I just cut them, dyed some wool purple and I put a little flag up top. The reason I did purple is because I felt it fit with the whole mage tower enchantment tower vibe. I felt like purple is a very mystical color. As you see I just used a lot of the walls here. I have this little detailing with the slabs above the windows. We have some of the cobblestone walls just outlined here, random parts, just to act as uh, fake support. And then over here, we have the same thing. Inside, I haven't really decorated it too much. Let me build up a little bit and show you guys how it looks from an angle, uh, just when you're looking at it straight forward. But there we go. I think it looks pretty good. It might not be the best thing I built, but I worked pretty hard on it. I also like the addition of the flag up top. I wanted to make the top come towards a point, but it always ended up looking weird. So I thought, what if I just put a flag? And you know what? I think it works. So as always with any of my builds, if any of you guys have any suggestions as to how I could make it maybe look a little better or change it or do anything different, let me know. I might experiment sometime off camera. Maybe I'll like copy this and MC edit, put it in a different world, mess around in creative mode and see if I can make it into a better build if I add a third floor. I don't know, it might look a little better, a little taller, but I like it. Again, I like the stubby design, and I did add a little bit of uh, functionality to the third floor. So here we have just the whole enchanting area, and then if we head right up here, it does take us to the next floor. Now inside, inside it looks pretty bad. The ceiling looks pretty bad, everything looks very flat, um, but I might work towards making this a little better in the future. I don't really know what I wanna do with it. Maybe I'll just add like a little uh, wall around here even just doing this will help a little bit make it look not so crazy on the inside i don't know i'm just gonna mess around with some stuff maybe some other time see what i can do overall though i'm pretty happy with this build i mean i think it looks pretty good i'm pretty proud of it i definitely think it looks nice um and yeah overall i think it looks pretty good so I'm not ending the episode quite yet. I honestly have no idea how long it'll be. I have about a 40 minute recording, just me making that mage tower, enchantment tower thing. But I don't know overall how long the entire video is gonna be. So to add some more time and because people want to see this, I am going to head to the nether, also using our new soul speed boots to kind of see what we can do. But I'm gonna take a little bit of gold. And the reason for this is because when I raided the Piglin Bastion, people were saying they would love to see more nether content. I mean, this is the nether update, so <laughs> it only makes sense. So I'm gonna head to the nether. We're gonna head back to the Bastion or just try to find some Piglins in general. We're gonna do a few trades with them with this gold. And I'm curious to see what kind of trades we can get. And also, I did put on these gold boots with Soul Speed because Soul Speed might be the one snapshot feature so far that I haven't really experimented with. I've made snapshot videos over almost every single snapshot in the past, like, two updates. Um, and I don't know. I just didn't make one when they released Soul Speed. I actually, actually, that's false. I think I did make a video when they released Soul Speed. I think the only issue was I didn't 
make a video on soul speed specifically so i'm gonna head to the bastion here or just look around to find some piglins and i'll be right back with you guys okay so here we have the bastion i believe i raided last time this might actually be a different one and oh looks like we have a uh what are these called a poro remnants so let's see let's grab the uh <laughs> grab the gold blocks for sure really fast uh anything else good what's in the chest oh 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 uh golden apple okay i'll take that uh fire charge bane of arthropods on an axe uh, oh, efficiency five on a gold pickaxe, but it's gold, so it'll uh, it'll probably break pretty fast. But let's see. Let's head back up to this bastion. The only reason I'm honestly trading for them is because I heard you can get some pretty good items. You can get some ancient debris, which I think I actually have one ancient debris, which isn't a lot, but <laughs> it's definitely a start. Our main way of finding ancient debris is just going to be blowing up our way through the nether which is one of the reasons why we made a gunpowder slash creeper farm uh in the last episode okay let's not do that <laughs> oh my god that scared me so much i thought it was done for thankfully i have fire protection so falling into lava doesn't actually do that much damage to me i got so anxious i need to be careful okay so actually i don't remember this in the last bastion and i see some gold okay you know what this isn't gonna work out <laughs> i'm just gonna keep falling in the lava but i think this might be a separate bastion to the one i raided previously i raided one before a few episodes ago um i think this might be <laughs> i thought i went in the same direction i mean here's my coordinates i know some of you guys are using this seed um if you want to come find this bastion remnant come to these cords but uh i think this might be a different one unless i just didn't explore this part of the bastion uh, let's get our gold out, make this little piglin an offering after we take his gold. <laughs> We're, oh god, getting gold is so easy now with the nether update, it's crazy. Um, yeah, this is not the bastion I raided before, let's see if he wants to do some trading. Also, in these bastions, I believe there's also a magma cube spawner, which we can eventually turn into a magma cube farm. Now, it looks like we have a decent amount of magma cream already. Um, magma cube farms aren't actually that useful. It's not like they give a bunch of stuff that's that nice. But it gives a little bit of XP, and also it does give some magma cream. Plus, we haven't really been able to make magma cube farms in the past, so it's still nice. Simply the fact that we can do it now. I'm going to do the last trade with this guy. See what he gives us. And, okay, nothing that great. Let's see over here, though. I haven't explored... Yeah, <laughs> I haven't explored this bastion yet. This is a different one. So, either the spawn rates are pretty common, which... Oh, my... Look at me. I literally... There's one... Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> which means they either spawn quite frequently, or I'm just lucky, because this is still only, like, 100, 200 blocks away from my portal, which really isn't that far at all. Can I stop falling into lava every three seconds that I play Minecraft? That would really be useful. <laughs> Alright, so I saw... Ooh, we have some new, new chain blocks too, but here's the chest. Let's check it out. Uh, oh, we got some chains, got some gold, got some gilded blackstone. That's one of the newer blocks. That's pretty cool. Maybe we'll transform this bastion, because I was going to eventually transform bastion, except I was going to do a different one. Maybe we'll do this one. I don't know. Are you going to start attacking me since I opened a chest? No, okay. I eventually want to make my way down, though, because I know right in the center... They have some pretty good loot, but also we have to be careful for the magma cubes because they are quite the foes to be dealt with, especially when there's many of them, which there are because there's a spawner. Uh, I don't have torches to light up the spawner, which is quite unfortunate. Let's see if we can do some trading with this guy while the magma cube comes over here to attack us. And oh, yeah, there we go. There's the magma cube spawner I was talking about. Okay, so we're going to have to... If I attack him, are the piglins going to attack me? No. All right, so will the piglins attack me if I take their gold? Oh, yes, he will. Okay. All right, let's go hidden. Oh, God. Eat the golden apple. No. Oh, God. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, God. Run, 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 run. No. This was a mistake. Okay. <gasps> no. Oh, I was slain by a pig. I had 53 levels. Why am I so dumb? No. No. <laughs> Oh my, okay, you know what? Okay, a new plan, since I'm stupid. I, I didn't know they would attack me if I just broke some of their gold. I thought they would still be pretty nice, you know what I mean? I thought they would be nice fellows. I guess I was wrong. Let's grab some of our old equipment and, uh... <laughs> 
Oh god, I guess we just need to head back to the nether here to get our items. I'll head back to the bastion though. Um, let's try to grab some food. I don't even know where I have food. Okay, let's just grab some pork chops. I'm gonna head back to the bastion now. I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, finally we found our items. I just got through the last of my food. Thankfully though, this really isn't that far from my initial uh, portal, so we should be pretty safe. I think that ba that piglin was going to come attack me. Um, oh god, we must have lost some items. I'm not seeing everything. My pickaxe, thankfully. We have my sword, my axe, my bow. Okay, we have the shovel. I have my stake. Um, but we don't have my pants, do we? I don't even think my pants were that good, so I'm not I'm not that that mad. I think some stuff might have fallen in the lava. But damn, I was just trying to what was that? I saw some weird blue. Was that just a particle? Oh, oh, he has my items. Oh, I was like, why is there blue? I was so confused. Okay, we're getting attacked now. So we're going to just have to hurry up out of here. Oh, God. Let me get some some blocks in my inventory so we can build up and get out. Okay, there we go. Let's, let's just head up. I don't want to die this time. I don't care if I don't get the loot in the middle. I am not dying and I'm not losing my items. Okay, I was so confused because I was like, yo, this dude, I saw some blue. I was like, what? Okay, let's wait for these piglins to stop attacking us. I don't know when that'll be. Let's build up literally right above the loot here so we can literally just drop down, grab the loot, and head back up. I guess if you literally break a gold block, they will start attacking you. So we have to be careful. I'm going to build... Actually, let's check out the soul speed. Oh, that was crazy. Whoa, this is actually a lot faster. Hold on. Oh, so you actually go faster than normal on soul sand. That's what soul speed does. And this is only soul speed 2. I wonder what soul speed 3 does. Okay. So let's be careful, though. Let's dig down. We're going to build a staircase so we can just do this quickly, okay? So... I need to get all the blocks I can. Let's make an opening. I'll make a staircase, and it'll be hard for them to get up the staircase. Let's just uh, block this up really fast. And then we'll have this little staircase like this. Heading up here. Okay, so the magma cubes want me. If I attack the magma cubes, am I going to get attacked by piglins? Let's just try to get some gold blocks right now. They're going to want to attack me. It's okay. It's okay. Let's just head up. Get out of here, magma cubes. Okay, I'm getting shot at. I'm getting shot at. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Let's wait for them to not become hostile. There we go. We got 12 gold blocks so far. That's pretty good. Um, I wonder what's in these chests. If I could, Oh my god, there's so many. I should have brought torches. Just in case. Uh, but I didn't think it was going to be this bastion. I thought it would be a different one. Okay, I just got in the chest. Let's get what we can. Okay, I took a lot of damage. It's okay. You know what? I'm not going to take it. I don't know how there was a half-beaten diamond chest plate in there. I don't even know how that can spawn. I think I've gathered what I can. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to go back down. I don't need the gold blocks. I'd rather come back at another time when I have better armor and better weapons. But for now, I'm just going to head back to my base, and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, so here we are. We are back in our world, and uh, I, may, I may or may not have died on my way back. But regardless, here we are. We got some gold. Only thing that sucks is we lost all of our XP, which I was going to use for some more enchanting. However, maybe within the next few episodes, I will respawn the dragon and get some of that XP back. Now, I won't get all of it back, but obviously, you know, you still get a decent amount in defeating the ender dragon a second time. But you don't get your normal 60 or 70 something levels. But anyways, that's going to be all for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you found this useful and got something out of it. Also, I just wanted to quickly show off. I built a little uh, thing for my creeper farm here just to make sure it was a little more protected. And I went AFK for a while and... Oh, I have a sign for some reason. Uh, here's what we have. So our items, <laughs> pretty good. We have a lot of gunpowder. Um, that was all from just AFKing for one editing session, editing a video, making a thumbnail, which probably lasted just about an hour. And then also I AFKed overnight for probably about nine hours or 10 hours. So that's what that is. Again, I mean, it's 
like a little over half a full double chest, which is still pretty good. I mean, you would expect a little bit more for how much time I AFK'd. However, it's not a super giant farm. It is a pretty tiny farm. Plus, spawn rates change depending on the biome and how far I was away. But anyways, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. This is Jay Wisp, and I will see you all in the next one.